here love JavaScript. But in fact, there are quite some uh, dangerous parts around this language. So let's talk about JavaScript bad parts. Let's start with plus. Plus is used for addition of uh, two numbers or concatenation of two strings. But if you start mix types in JavaScript, it starts to be confusing which operation will uh, appear. So uh, for other arithmetic operators, if you use um, uh, mixed types, uh, the result is safe. You will have a casting of two number of all operands. But if you use it for plus, the opposite will happen. You will have your number casted to a string. The same will happen if one of operands is any kind of object. In this slide, I have example for array. So array representation Array string representation is a concatenation of its elements with a comma. So for empty array, just nothing. For array with one element, this is just its element. And for many, the, you have comma in result. So in the result string, you have string representation of the, uh, of the operands. In this uh, case, you, you meaningless one object object. When I was preparing this slide, I was playing with the code in terminal, and I decided just for fun just to swap the operands, and you know, I found one. I'm like, what? And in fact, uh, in, uh, I was starting to think why it happened, and I understood that in last case, it's not even object, literal, it's an empty code block followed by unary plus. So let's continue with the um, comparison. In JavaScript, strings are compared alphabetically, and which uh, makes perfect sense. But it might lead to some traps if you start to compare strings holding numbers. In this case, you should not uh, forget to cast at least one operand to a number, or uh, better even do it for both of them. Let's speak about assignment. In JavaScript, assignment is just an expression. That means that anywhere you can put an expression, you can put an assignment. And that might lead to some traps. You, there, is, there will be no syntax error if you mistype your quality operator and put assignment instead. So to avoid that, just enable a rule from your favorite linter, which will uh, ban all suspicious usages of assignment operator. Let's talk about float numbers. It's dangerous to compare float numbers. You will almost prob uh, for sure get a false result. The problem is that uh, machine computation is not so precise, and the actual value uh, will be a bit different from the one you expect. So in order to compare float numbers, just make sure that the difference between them is small enough. And in fact, this is basically true for all, probably every programming language. If you talk about sorting, in JavaScript there is a nice standard sorting method for array structure. And it works pretty natural if you're sorting array of strings, but if you're sorting array of numbers, you, the result will be pretty crazy. And uh, in order to fix that, you should not forget to provide a compare function like the one on the slide. And uh, the last thing I want to talk about is uh, non-value. Uh, there is a usual confusion around none to know if something is none. And uh, uh, in fact, the none compares unequal to everything. That means that there is no sense to compare it to constant none. You will always get a false result. Instead, you can compare it to itself. As I said, it compares unequal to everything, so it's the only value in JavaScript which compares unequal to itself. Or you could use the standard is none or number is none methods, but please be sure because there is a slight difference between them. The global is none will cast the value to number before performing the check for none. I hope you, everyone, found something new for himself. Thank you. Yeah.